Hey guys, welcome to my first career sim video. For this video, we will be simming the career of Matthew Beniers. Beniers is an amazing two-way talent projected to go number one overall in the 2021 draft. Over his career, I'll be checking his stats after every season and will be keeping track of all of his awards. I'll be controlling a random team so the entire simulation will be completely computer automated. Now, let's get on with his career. Okay guys, we'll be heading into the entry draft and let's see where he gets chosen. The Buffalo Sabres somehow won the cup in the first year too, so that's pretty crazy. Come on, is he going to go to Columbus? No, medium franchise goes first overall. Edmonton? No, he doesn't go to Edmonton. Ottawa? Matthew Beniers is going to be an Ottawa Senator, boys. So guys, I checked the rosters, and Matthew Beniers is starting off in the OHL for his first career season. Hopefully next year he can jump up and get into the lineup, but for now, hopefully he can dominate in the OHL. In year one, the Ottawa Senators barely sneak into the playoff spot, getting 15th place in the entire league. Ottawa ended up losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champions in the first round, but I would say it's still a pretty good season for them. In year number two, we see Matthew Beniers crack the Ottawa Senators roster for the first time. They look very good in this year, so we'll see how they do. They got good forwards, good defense, and they picked up Mark andre Fleury in it. In season two, the Ottawa Senators get seventh place, which is amazing. 97 points, 46 wins. They did end up losing in game seven to the Detroit Red Wings, but I would say it was still a decent year. Beniers only ended up playing 17 games with 4 goals and 4 points on the Ottawa Senators, but then had a pretty good AHL season with 22 games played, 9 goals, 15 assists, 24 points on the Belleville, Belleville Senators. And Arthur Kaliev ends up taking home the Calder Memorial Trophy. In Season 3, the Ottawa Senators have a very good roster, and it looks like finally Beniers is going to get a full season in the NHL. They got good forwards, good defense, and they have another solid goalie. In Beniers' first full NHL season, we see the Ottawa Senators get 12th place with 93 points, 44 wins. The Ottawa Senators actually had an amazing playoff run, upsetting the Montreal Canadiens 4-3 in Game 7, and upsetting the Tampa Bay Lightning 4-2 to two, and making it all the way to the conference finals to lose in Game 7 against the Pittsburgh Penguins. As you can see, Matthew Beniers had an amazing first season, getting 36 goals, 15 assists, 51 points in 82 games, and being a plus 14. And Matthew Beniers jumps up to an 85 overall. Beniers' production fell off in the playoffs, but overall a ter terrific season from him and the Ottawa Senators. As you can see, Matthew Beniers had an amazing first season, getting 36 goals, 15 assists, 51 points in 82 games, and being a plus 14. And Matthew Beniers jumps up to an 85 overall. Beniers' production fell off in the playoffs, but overall a ter terrific season from him and the Ottawa Senators. Because of Beniers' amazing play in his first season, he gets the Calder Memorial Trophy, so good job, Beniers. In year four, it looks like the Ottawa Senators have an amazing team on defense, offense, and in their goalies. And Beniers jumps up to an 86 for a second NHL season. In season four and Beniers' second season in the NHL, the Ottawa Senators finish fourth in the entire NHL with 99 points and 45 wins. In the playoffs, the Ottawa Senators hammered Detroit, just barely beat New Jersey in the second round, and beat Columbus in the third round and lost in game seven in the Stanley Cup Finals. And Rob Beniers with his first NHL Stanley Cup. With Matthew Beniers' 55 goals, it helps him pick up the Maurice Richard Trophy to add to his amazing season. In the first year of Matthew Beniers' huge $9 million three-year extension, he jumps up to a 90 overall, 
and once again has an amazing team around him. So hopefully they can make it to the Stanley Cup Finals once again. At the end of Season 5, the Ottawa Senators do absolutely terrible compared to their past couple of years. So I don't know what happened. We'll check the stats and see what went on. The production dropped by almost everybody on the Ottawa Senators, inc including Matthew Beniers, only 47 points and dropped down two overalls to now 88. In year six, Matthew Beniers finally gets a chance to play on the first line with Aho and Brown. It looks like overall the team has took a dip, and on defense the team has also took a little dip in overall. So we'll see how this season goes for the Ottawa Senators. At the end of year six, the Ottawa Senators once again place 22nd and then get 81 points. So another awful year by the Ottawa Senators, two years in a row without making the playoffs. With only 37 wins, 38 losses, let's hope they can bounce back next season with uh, Matthew Beniers. Matthew Beniers was the only light spot of this Ottawa Senators team, getting 48 goals, 32 assists, and 80 points in 82 games, and being a plus 7 on an awful team. So, he's he's earning his money right now, $9 million, two years left. Let's see if he leaves next season. Hopefully, Ottawa can turn it around and change his mind. At the start of year number seven, it looks like Matthew Beniers is about to have an amazing year playing alongside Aho and Stutzel at center. And they picked up some guys like Hall and stuff, so I think their team's going to do quite well. They've got a good goalie, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, Beniers can have another great season and make his money. At the end of ne year number seven, it looks like the Ottawa Senators have done even worse with only 74 points in 82 games. Um... I don't know what happened to them. I thought they'd have a good team, so we'll see if Beniers can uh, end up going to another team this summer. Despite their team doing awful, Beniers still ended up with a doing pretty good. He did drop one overall. He had 75 points, 40, 45 goals, and 30 assists in 81 games. So this is the final year of his contract. He is 25 years old, so he will be restricted, but we'll see what happens in free agency. Start of year number eight, Matthew Benier signs a new contract, seven years, ten point six million dollar deal with the Philadelphia Flyers, and he's playing on our wing with Pospisil and the back-to-back -back Maurice Richard champion Patrick Laine. So this team looks pretty good. Doesn't have a lot of depth. Uh, Branstrom actually went with him too, so he went with him to Philadelphia. So that's pretty cool. They, they do look like a pretty good team, so I'm hoping Beniers can find his track again and get back to winning some more awards and do good in the playoffs. So, see how it goes. At the end of year 8, the Philadelphia Flyers placed 7th in the league with 97 points, 43 wins, and 28 losses, and 11 OT losses, and breaking Matthew Beniers' three-season three playoff drought. In Benier's first season with the Philadelphia Flyers, he gets 51 goals, 35 assists, 86 points in 82 games with a plus 10. So, clearly the Flyers are doing good for him right now. It's helping him out a little bit. He's earning that money. And in the playoffs, the Flyers did beat the New Jersey Devils in round one, but they did end up losing against the Carolina Hurricanes in six games. So, it's too bad, but they had a good season. Hopefully, they can come back stronger next year. At the start of year number 9, we see Matthew Beniers going up to a 91 overall, 26 years of age, and playing with Patrick Line and Andre Ka Kasha. And his team doesn't look too good around him. Sean Couturier, 36 years old on the fourth line. They, got, they still got a couple good players, but can't see them doing much this year. At the end of year number 9, the Philadelphia Flyers kind of surprised me, finishing 6th and... With 47 wins, 30 losses, and 5 overtime losses. I don't think anybody expected them to do this good, so that is great. Philadelphia almost got past the first round, but did end up losing in Game 7 against the New York Islanders that eventually went to the, eventually went to the conference finals. 
Matthew Beneers once again having an amazing season. 96 points in 81 games, a career high with 47 goals and 49 assists. And he was plus 22, so that is amazing for him. He's earning that money, and he jumps up to a 93 overall at 27 years old. Way to go, Beneers. Also, a little bit of a small sample size in the playoffs, but Beneers in seven games got seven goals, goal per game, three assists, and ten points. So, this guy's a playoff performer and a regular season performer. Just a superstar. To start off year number 10, it looks like the Philadelphia Flyers have an amazing team. Beneers still in 93 overall, playing with Line A and Pospisil. They got Kasha, Frost. They got a couple of good players. On defense, it's not too bad. They lost Provorov. And then on goalies, their guys are getting a little worse. So we'll see how they do. Hopefully, Beneers can keep it up and hopefully can lead them to a championship. At the end of the season 10, the Philadelphia Flyers finished 13th place with 92 points, 43 wins, 33 losses, 6 OT losses. So they weren't as good as I expected. They didn't have too much depth, though, so that's probably why. We'll see how Bananas did and how they did in the playoffs. The Philadelphia Flyers did end up losing to the Buffalo Sabres in Game 6 of the first round, so that's too bad. Hopefully they can bounce back next year, maybe get a couple free agency signings, and come back stronger. Despite the team doing a little worse, Beneers got 93 points in 82 games with 46 goals, 47 assists, a steady goal scorer, and, and a playmaker, so that's great. And in the playoffs, he did get injured for two of the games. We got a goal and two assists, so it's not too bad. Over the course of Matthew Beneers' 10-year stint with the NHL, he's had six, 671 games played, 357 goals, 255 assists, and 612 points, and being plus eight, 81, so that's been amazing. He's played for two different teams, Philadelphia and Ottawa, over his 10-year career, and while picking up the Maurice Richard Trophy and a Calder Memorial Trophy. Start of year number 11, uh, the team looks pretty good. Benier still stays at 93 overall, playing with Line A and Pos Pospisil, which is nice. Um, the team looks like it's gotten better, but the fourth line is still absolutely horrendous. The goalies are terrible. I don't, I don't even know. This is awful. The goalies are terrible, but we'll see how it goes. At the end of year 11, we see the Philadelphia Flyers plays 25th with only 78 points, 34 wins. 38 losses and 10 OT losses. So this is the first bad season the Philadelphia Flyers have had with Beneers on their team. Beneers had a solid season, getting 52 points, 27 goals, 25 assists in 45 games. But he did end up missing 32 games, so that is really bad. Let's hope next year he stays healthy and he does everything he can to help this team win. Year number 12 still sees Matthew Beneers at 91 overall, 29 years old, still playing with Line A and Pospisil. So there hasn't been much changes. It doesn't look like they're that great of a team. They could make the playoffs, but I don't see anything more than that. In year number 12, the Philadelphia Flyers actually played pretty good. They placed 10th, get 94 points, 45 wins, 33 losses, and 4 overtime losses. They did lose only in five games to the New York Islanders in the first round, but hopefully they can come back strong next season while they still have Beniers. Beniers put up his best season yet, getting 49 goals, 55 assists, and 104 points in just 82 games while being plus 22 on a pretty decent team. So that is amazing. Hopefully he can come back strong. He's 30 now with three years left on his deal. Let's see what he can do for the rest of those years. At the start of year number 13, we see Matthew Benier still at 93 overall, and he's still playing with possible, but now Belfort. And Line is on the second line, which they picked up Marner. So their team, I think their team looks like a championship team. Their defense is very weak, and their goalies are weak. So I don't know if their offense can just carry, then we'll see what happens. At the end of year 13, the Philadelphia Flyers finished ninth in the entire league with uh, 96 points, 45 wins, 35 or 31 losses, and 6 OT losses.
the Philadelphia Flyers ended up losing against the Washington Capitals in five games in the first round. The Washington Capitals were actually a really good team, and they did end up going to the Stanley Cup Finals, but ended up losing in Game 7. Matthew Beniers did end up having an injury that costed him 8 games, but he still ended up with 77 points, 40 goals, 37 assists, and 3 points over point per game. Matthew also has 2 years left, so hopefully he can do something with this team or he might leave. At the start of year number 14 in Benier's final contract year, he's playing with Pospisil and Belfour, and his team looks like it's gotten a lot better. Also, they acquired a 90 overall goalie in the offseason, so that's very good. And we'll see if Benier's ends up getting traded at the trade deadline or leaves at the end of the season. At the end of year number 14, we see the Philadelphia Flyers barely squeak into a playoff spot, finishing 13th with 92 points, 44 wins, 34 losses, and 4 overtime losses. Philadelphia finally made it past the first round, beating the Penguins in seven games, but then fell to New Jersey 4 to nothing in the second round. Although Beniers was injured for six games, he still put up 82 points, 43 goals, and 39 assists. In the playoffs, he did disappoint with only six points in 11 games, with two goals and four assists, which is probably the reason why they got swept by the New Jersey Devils. number 15, Matthew Beniers comes back up to a 93 overall and signs a three-year extension with the Philadelphia Flyers for $13.3 million. They did also sign Urza McNeely, and he's a 95 overall playmaker that will be playing with Beniers and Pospisil. So this team looks like a very good team. Their defense is very weak, and their goalies are really good. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully they have a good season. At the end of year number 15, the Philadelphia Flyers get second place with 111 points, 52 wins, 23 losses, 7 overtime losses, tying St. Louis for first. The Philadelphia Flyers did beat the New York Rangers in Game 5, but then in the second round lost to Columbus in Game 7, where Columbus went on to lose against the St. Louis Blues in the Cup Finals. With Philadelphia's amazing year comes Matthew Benier's amazing year, only playing 77 games with 94 points, 54 goals, and 40 assists, and being plus 22. In the playoffs, Beniers is unstoppable, getting 13 goals, 11 assists, 24 points in only 12 games. It's too bad they lost because he was amazing. Beniers' 54 goals earns him his second Maurice Richard trophy. Good job, Matthew Beniers. At the start of year number 16, Matthew Beniers drops down three overalls, but is still playing with amazing players. His team looks okay, but not great. They still have really good goalies, so we'll see what happens this season. This year, at the end of season 16, the Philadelphia Flyers placed 12th and with 97 points, 45 wins, 30 losses, and 7 overtime losses. This year was a good year for all Philadelphia Flyers fans and Matthew Beniers fans because Philadelphia ended up winning the Stanley Cup. They beat New Jersey in round 1 in 5 games. They swept Carolina in round 2 beat Ottawa in, in six games, and then they swept Calgary in the finals to win the Stanley Cup. Beniers once again puts up an amazing season with 45 goals, 46 assists, 91 points in 80 games, and while being plus 13. Beniers once again has an unstoppable playoff run, picking up 27 points, 10 goals, 17 assists, in only 19 games. And I'm just so happy to see Benier is getting his first cup on the Philadelphia Flyers. So that is huge for everybody. At the start of year number 17, the 34-year-old Matthew Beniers gets demoted down to the second line and goes down to an 89 overall. This is the final year of his contract, so we'll see if he stays in the offseason or retires. Flyers finish first place with 120 points, 56 wins, 18 losses, and 8 overtime losses in 82 games. Amazing season by the team. The Philadelphia Flyers did have a disappointing playoffs. They did beat the Leafs in round 1, beat the Rangers, but they got reverse swept by the Ottawa Senators in the conference finals, so that is awful. Matthew Beniers this season showed how good he still is, getting 110 points, 58 goals, 52 assists in 82 games, being plus 45 at 35 years old.
Benier's playoff production did go downhill a little bit, only getting 15 points, 7 goals, 8 assists in 17 games, but you can't complain from a 35-year-old, and this season brought Benier's up to a 90 overall. And with Benier's career-high season, he earns the Hart Memorial Trophy, the Maurice Richard Trophy, and the Ten Lindsay Trophy. What a season by the 35-year-old Matthew Benier's. Breaking news, everybody, Matthew Benier's has just signed a one-year contract to the Washington Capitals. At the start of season number 18, Matthew Beniers is playing on the left wing for the first time with his new one-year $9.7 million contract. I think he's going to retire at the end of the year, so hopefully he can make it count. He's playing with Bryant Lowe and Vasily Ponomarov. So it looks like he has an amazing team around him. I think this is the best team he might have been on, except for that defenseman. But he has a really good goalie, so hopefully they can win the cup. Matthew Beniers last year, they extremely disappointed him finishing 30th with only 67 points, 31 wins, 46 losses, and 5 overtime losses. Washington being awful, he didn't hold that back from him being amazing. He got 43 goals, 42 assists, and 85 points in 82 games, and only being a negative 9 on the second worst team in the NHL. Beniers is back for one more shot at the Stanley Cup. He's now playing with Pittsburgh on a one-year $7.45 million contract. He's playing with a couple good players, but the team doesn't look too amazing around him. But no one is too bad, so we'll see if they do good. I'm hoping he can make another Cup run. Of year number 19, the Pittsburgh Penguins finished 25th and get only 81 points, 36 wins, 37 losses, 9 overtime losses. It's too bad Beniers signed with them because... It's just he's missed playoffs two times in a row. Even though the Pittsburgh Penguins did awful, Beniers in only 77 games got 88 points, 39 goals, 49 assists. Not bad for a 37-year-old. This is a sad day in the hockey world, guys, because Matthew Beniers has officially retired at the age of 37. He played 1,346 games, 755 goals, 640 assists, and 1,395 points. What a career. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.